Hello, it's Scott Manley here, standing on a cliff top, uh, watching the Pacific Ocean pummel the Sonoma coast in the background. Uh, we've had some rain recently, but I'm here to do my last, uh, you know, five minute science video. Not even five minutes faster than that. Uh, <laughs> But um, I'm here to talk about specific impulse. Now, specific impulse, as you know, is used to figure out how much delta V you get from your rockets. It's how efficient your rocket is. The higher it is, the better. And it turns out that the values in Kerbal Space Program, with uh, you know 390 for you know regular rockets and 800 for your nuclear rockets, aren't too far off what reality is. Now, in Kerbal Space Pro Program, they're measured in seconds, as they are in real life. And a lot of people ask me. Why are, is it measured in seconds? That doesn't make much sense to me. It, surely it's measuring a velocity and it makes more sense to measure it in some velocity, and it does. But uh, if you look at the conversion equation, what you do is you multiply the specific impulse by the force of gravity, the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of Earth, and then multiply that by the logarithm of the ratio of the final mass to the initial mass, and that gives you your delta V. Now, people look at that and they say, well, if it contains a factor due to gravity, surely that means that as I get further away from the planet, then the force of gravity is changing, and I should be recalculating this as I get further away. People say this in the, the light speed video. They point out that I've calculated the mass of fuel needed based upon the surface uh, gravity, the surface acceleration of the planet Kerbin. And of course, uh, that is not true. As we go further out, that decreases, and so I should adjust my equation to account for this. And this is people being very smart, thinking with their heads, and uh, not totally understanding the situation. But that's to be expected. There is no sin in that. You see, what the force of gravity is in that equation is it's a conversion factor that makes everybody agree on the final result. You see, in the 1960s you had some engineers from Europe, say uh, led by Werner von Braun, and they would be thinking in terms of, you know, meters per second, right? You're brought up with metric. Whereas the American engineers would have been brought up with feet and pounds, right? And so they would be thinking in feet per second. Now, this meant that they would use 32.174 feet per second as the acceleration due to gravity, and the Werner von Braun's team would use 9.81 meters per second. But they would both get the correct answer in the units that they were expecting, and that is why you have acceleration due to gravity as a constant in the specific impulse equation. And of course, the reason it's measured in seconds is that you're dividing everything out, and that is the unit that is left. And so, yes. That is why specific impulse is measured in seconds, because everybody can agree how long a second is, but they can't agree on their unit of distance or mass. I'm Scott Manley, fly safe.